Zorn and Pugwest. Chilnik versus Marth. This is this is a winners this is the winner, winners quarters match that I think we have to the winner of this match plays the winner of us, I believe. Indeed. But yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, in case whoever goes whichever way, all I have to do is say Toon Link. Toon Link is treated like a Ness with projectiles. It's a mixture of Link and Ness. Kind of got to basically want to shield what you can and definitely get in his face and punish with aerials, depending on what type of character you have. Yeah. Like, as you can see, Toon Link isn't very... Is, he's not as... He's very mobile, but the thing is, he doesn't have his speed factor like he did in Brawl. Now, I'm very, very interested to see how Pug West is able to kill Zorn. It seemed like Zorn, in Zorn versus Silver Alley, Zorn was living to like 150, 200 constantly. And Marth is not the best at killing options unless he gets a really hard read. Yo, oh. I feel like Pug is evolving every tournament. This guy is evolving. Woo! That was a really smart counter by Pug. But he's still living. Oh, oh. He had the bomb. Yo, Zorn is... Wow. Oh! You dirt! <laughs> that was a crucial mistake by Pug West. Just completely lost that lead. That's what happened to me last time we was in the freaking losers finals. <laughs> oh my! Is oh. that? Oh! I thought Whoa. we were. I thought we were gonna see some like Yoshi Yoshi story kind of. Yoshi's Island, maybe I don't know. Right, Zorn's, like, Zorn's like, oh, you think you got my number, but yes. I got I got a cell phone. Yeah, it just seems like, even with that SD though, Pug West has solid control of this match. He's understanding what Zorn is doing and he's able to effectively punish all of his options. And really smart counters by Pug West. I'm Zorn has not gotten any momentum started at all this game, unfortunately. But Pug West is definitely a top player and I wouldn't expect anything else. Oh yeah. Oh, Yo, that was beautiful. Yeah. Now, that that was kind of that basically should have been a two stock. I mean, that was a dominant display by Pug West. I'm. I think Zorn definitely needs to rethink how he's playing the neutral because he never got momentum once that entire game. What he wants to do is not be. Um, basically, he needs to throw in more options and more. Uh, basically, throw in more covers. Basically, um, what I've learned from, well, I kind of watch full stream. He said he would like throw the boomerang at the ground to make a diagonal trap, and then throw a bomb in the air, and then pull out another bomb with some arrows to at least protect himself. So I think Zorn needs to create a little bit more protection. But you know, it's kind of hard versus Marf because Marf kind of like just flash steps in front of your face, like to your face, instant transmissions. What do you think about this counter pick though from Zorn? Do you think that a well, smaller stage is helpful for Toon Link? I would if Toon Link's up smash was as good as it was in Brawl. But other than that, this stage, I mean, it has what it needs. But stages with platforms in general always are going to feed Marf. Mm -hmm. yeah, Marf is like those new. Marf is still a neutral based character even in this game. Because as you can see, basically, he doesn't care if he has a platform or not. All he needs to do is just read your neutral game and just punish it accordingly. That was a good read. Yeah, it definitely seemed like what Zorn did in between the games, rethinking the match, has worked because he has the lead right now against Pug West. Yeah, there's something we like to call player's mentality. When you have that significant lead, you basically get... Pug West. Uh, Pug. When you have oh, when you uh -huh. have that significant lead, you start to, you you get a comfortability in your head, and you either can play more clumsier or smarter because you're trying to keep that percentage. But one smart thing I've heard is always play your stock like it's the last, mm -hmm. which has its pros and cons. Definitely smart move. Didn't want to get that back throw. Toon Link has a mini nest back throw. Oh, was that that one frame punish? Or oh, nice by Zorn. Zorn is so clutch with his recoveries. Mm -hmm. Finds a way to come back. 
It's really hard though because um, you know Marf doesn't need to approach you, but you also he doesn't need to approach you immediately. Marf can take his time. That's the thing he has in certain matches. Even versus Duck Hunt Dog, if shield properly, you can take your time. Mark just needs to observe the situation, look what he's going for, watch when he needs to, and make his move. A up smash right about now probably will kill for a 10% after. I mean, I think an up smash from both characters is actually will probably kill soon. I mean, that up, that up smash on this stage. Yeah. Especially Tipper. Because that rage. Yeah. I, do, I do enjoy rage, but I wish rage only applied to the last stocks. It kind of would make a little bit more sense. Very nice. Down throw. Going for the double jump. He knows he's going to double jump. Basically, he's like, oh, you have a bomb, so you can only do this. Okay. You have a bomb, you can only do this. You know, things aren't as complex. Anymore, you can't, you know, Z drop bomb onto. Oh, oh wow. wow! While we're sitting here talking, the game is taken by us. Right. Okay.